The sacrum is a large triangular bone made up of five fused vertebrae below the lumbar spine. The sacrum is wedged between the two ilium bones of the pelvis. The sacroiliac joint is the joint between the sacrum and the ilium. This joint transmits forces from the upper limbs and spine to the hip joints and lower limbs and vice versa. It also acts as a shock absorber. Several muscles influence the movement and the stability of the sacroiliac joint, either through attachments to the sacrum or the ilium, or via fasciae or ligamentous attachments to the strong anterior or posterior sacroiliac joint ligaments. Due to the bony position and the strong ligaments, the sacroiliac joint is very stable. The joint consists of a posterior superior ligamentous section, two-thirds of the joint, and an anterior inferior synovial component, one-third of the joint. In the synovial portion, the smooth hyaline cartilage on the sacral side is twice as thick as the fibrocartilage on the iliac side. Degenerative and inflammatory changes are often seen later on the thicker sacral side. The sacroiliac joint surfaces develop many irregular ridges and depressions during adolescence. These surfaces lock into place during the push-off phase in walking to increase joint stability. The sacroiliac joint only slides 2 to 4 millimeters and rotates 1 to 3 degrees via ligament stretching during weight bearing and forward bending. Movements are a combination of sliding, tilting and rotation. The movements decrease with aging and the joint may undergo a fibrous fusion in later life. Although normal sacroiliac joint movement is small, it is essential for normal, pain-free lower back and pelvis function. A loss of this movement is commonly seen in people with low back and pelvic pain.